Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Yesterday, DRDU has shared two tableaus with advanced defense technologies which will be marching this Republic Day parade. The first one is suit of sensors, weapons and electronic warfare system for LCA Tejas and second one is regarding the air independent propulsion system for submarines. Talking about the first W, it has arrays of sensors and weapons which we are mostly aware of such as Uttam ASA radar, Rudram-1 anti radiation missile, Astra Mark-1, LRGV long-range glide bombs, SAW smart anti-airfield weapons, but there were two weapons and sensors which are least discussed. The first one is ASPJ or Advanced Self Protection Jammer and second one is Tara or Tactical Advanced Range Augmentation. Our today's discussion will be mainly around these two systems, so let's get started. In an electronic warfare, a self protection jammer plays a role of an ECM, electronic counter maze system that jams the signal of hostile radar and thus provides protection to the mothership. The jammer first detects the radiation of enemy emitters and compares it with its internal threat library. If the transmission either is confirmed to be hostile or is an unknown threat, the jammer radiates and jams the enemy receiver and thus attempts to protect the aircraft. DRDO's lab DARE has been developing self protection jammer for Indian Air Force. The high brand jammer or HPJ has been developed for Su 30 MKIs. The present Su-30 MKIs have a couple of options to be used as self-protection jammers such as Russian SAP-518 and SAP-14, Israel's Elta ELL-8222 and indigenous HBJ. The ASPJ which was shown in W of DIDO is going to be an advanced version of HBJ featuring a gallium nitride based solid state AESA jammer transmitter along with digital radio frequency memory DRFM. The gallium nitride is a superior semiconductor used in AESA radars compared to gallium arsenide and almost double in power which will undoubtedly increase the effectiveness of the jammer. Next, the DRFM going to be used in jammers are known for severely degrading adversaries, radar and missile seekers. The ASPJ will have three major components, Active Array Transmitter Receiver Unit ATRU, Exciter Receiver Processor and Cooling System. ASPJ is going to be a single pod unlike HBJ which is a dual pod system integrated at the wing tips of Su-30 MKIs. This pod is going to be the next generation pod for upcoming 4.5th and 5th generation fighters such as Tejas, MK2, MK and ZBF. Tara is a very exciting and mysterious weapon regarding which we all were unaware of till DIDO showed it in its W. There is no official information about this weapon. However, if we analyze Tara based on its name, design and the press release, it is an advanced precision strike weapon meant for ground targets developed by Hyderabad based DRDO laboratories. If you compare the image of Tara shown by DRDO with SPICE 1000, they look very similar in their structure, design and function. If you look into the SPICE bombs, they are actually bombs integrated with sophisticated guidance kits. These bombs, including Tara, have three major components which can be changed depending upon the operational requirement. This includes tail at the rear, warhead in the mid section and guidance kit in the front section. SPICE 1000 has even an extra deployable wing on the top of the warhead. The kit actually converts a general purpose bomb into a precision strike standoff weapon with a range typically between 50 to 100 kilometers. For guidance, these weapons use EOIR sensor along with GPS. In summary, Tara seems to be a Desi Spice or precision guidance kit in making.
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.